Okay, in the last video, I talked a little bit about transcending the egg flap, the apathy, grief, fear, lust, anger, pride, the non-loving feelings, thoughts, emotions that come up, and quieting the mind. So I wanted to sort of quickly talk about one way of doing that. So the first thing is, you know, when you recognize a non-loving, what, I, what I'm calling a non-loving feeling, thought, or emotion, which is usually falls under the category of egg flap, which underneath all of that is fear. Um, but if you are, if you notice a feeling, thought, or emotion come up and you, let's just give an example, okay? Let's just uh, take grief, for example. You, will, you're, you feel you, you're grieving, okay, for some reason. You're in grief. Now, you want to look underneath the grief. Okay, what is the actual feelings, thoughts, emotions? You want to get the examples underneath the grief. For example, you could, I mean, there's numerous words that, that you might be feeling. Uh, you might be feeling um, helpless, or you might be unhappy. You might feel um, depressed. You might feel betrayed. You might feel guilty okay now let's just say it's it's guilt that's underneath your grief for whatever reason all right now you've you take that guilt that you're feeling and you say you ask yourself am i wanting to control something am i wanting to control something about this situation or whatever it might be or am I wanting to feel more secure in some way? And sometimes you might be wanting approval. Now you might be wanting one, two, or all three of these things, and that's fine. You take each one, let's say you, you're wanting, let's say you're wanting approval. In some way that's attached to your feeling guilty, which is underneath the grief. So then you will ask yourself, you can literally ask yourself, can I let that go? Can I let go of that wanting approval? And it doesn't even matter who or what you want the approval from. Can you just let it go? And the answer is always yes. The answer is always yes to these questions. The only the only reason you're going to maybe get a no, that's from the ego, and you're going to know, okay, that's my ego. And you are larger than your ego. You are in control of your ego. You are bigger than your ego. You're unlimited being. Okay, so the ego, if it says no to you, and it comes up with all these other, you know, stories or pictures in your mind about why you you know, you can't let it go or whatever. That's not even true. So you know that the ego is just lying to you, basically. Your mind is just telling you more stories to keep you stuck, to keep you limited, to keep you down in the egg flap. So the answer is always yes. Yes, yes. And even if you don't 100% believe your yes when you say it, you will. And even if you don't 100% believe it, just saying yes is opening yourself up more to allowing it to leave. And it will. It wants to. Okay? So it's just yes. Can I allow myself to actually let go of this want of approval? Or whatever it is. Or want, wanting to be safe. Or wanting... Um, you know, one of the three, approval, control, or security. 
And then you can go through each one if, if it's all three for you. And you might say, well, gee, I, I'm also feeling really helpless right now. And you can do the same thing. For each thing that comes up, it just wants to pass through and leave like everything. It's just passing through. And so we usually are the ones that are blocking our own unlimitedness, our own freedom, because we are resisting these things. They're not comfortable sometimes, or they're painful sometimes, these feelings, thoughts, and emotions. And so we want to just like sweep them under the rug or push them away as fast as we can or get rid of them. Now, this, what I'm telling you, is going to allow them to leave. It's allowance. But you will get to a point which where it's okay if you stay feeling of helplessness. It's okay if you stay. It really is. And it's, or it's okay if you go. Either way, it's okay. And that's where freedom lies. That's where the peace is in that spot. That's the unlimitedness. That's the freedom. It's not, you know, either or. It's not shoving stuff away, resisting it, pushing it down, denying that it even exists, which is very common practice, I know, in a lot of, um, well, I won't say it, <laughs> but that is a common practice, just to, to sort of deny that certain feelings, thoughts, and emotions even exist when they do. So you look at them, you see what's underneath, whatever, it, or what's underneath when you're in the egg flap. What's coming up? You know, is it, um, you know, is it fear? Okay, well, what's underneath this fear? Well, I'm feeling really, like, nervous. I'm feeling insecure. I'm feeling um, shy. I'm feeling vulnerable, whatever it is. And then, okay. Is you know, and then you ask yourself, eh, is that wanting? You know, is that wanting approval? Am I really wanting approval? Is that why I'm feeling this way? Or am I wanting to try to control something, somebody, this feeling, how I feel? Am I wanting to be safe? I feel vulnerable. Is that wanting safety? And you well, and can I let that go? Can I let that go? And you can ask it. You can ask the feeling, thought, or emotion. Would you like to leave? Would you like to go? The answer is always yes, like I said. If you get a no, it's just your ego. And you can override that very easily. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, you can rise above your egg flap. And you that's when you move into cap, which is courageousness and acceptance. And ultimately peace and um, Lester used to say you know sometimes when you get in you reach get into cap you move into courageousness and you or you know acceptance you might still be just hovering above the garbage as he said just hovering above the egg flap or you might be dipping down and coming out and you know like a dance and that's the way it works but you don't, you know, and some people when they are hovering above the egg flap and it feels really nice because you're in courageousness and acceptance and that feels really good and you feel lighter and you feel good. And a lot of people will just stop there because it does feel so good. And they don't go all the way. They don't go all the way to their unlimited beingness. And so the more that you can let go of the egg flap as it comes up and it becomes just a 24 7 it's just a state of being constant state of release and letting go you move up you move up you move up and that's a nice place to be and that's the state of peace of unlimitedness of our very own beingness 